Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. It's dinner time tonight. We are doing fish with lemon garlic butter. It's a fairly easy one. Here's what we need. It will serve four. So I'm going to serve this with a side of chips, which I'm going to do in the air fryer and some salad. So apart from these ingredients, you'll also need a frying pan, or a grill to cook your fish and some baking paper to wrap the butter in, air fryer or whatever if you're doing chips and then salad is however you want to do it. So come on in, I'll show you the ingredients. So bear with me if I start sneezing or anything. I'm in the middle of, well, I don't have a hay fever season, unfortunately. Um, the last few days have been pretty bad on the hay fever. I've just had a couple of sneezing fits and I'm a bit snuffly. So I'm fighting and being brave about it. So here's what we need. 100 grams of butter, which is going to be soft. I don't want to soften it in the microwave because I don't want it that soft. So I'm just going to leave it out and hopefully it'll do the right thing. One small clove of garlic, which we're going to crush, that's in there. Two tablespoons of finely sliced green shallots. Now I had these in the freezer. I wasn't going to buy a whole bunch just to get one out, so that should be fine. I haven't finely sliced them and I haven't measured them, so it is what it is with that, unfortunately. Three drops of Tabasco sauce. Four 150 to 200 gram whitefish fillets. I haven't unwrapped them yet, but they're in that bag there. My butcher delivered those the other day. Three teaspoons of lemon juice. I've just got the lemon squeezy that's in there. One teaspoon of grated lemon zest. It's not quite one teaspoon, but it's near enough is good enough. And the salad to serve. I picked up this one in Aldi, which is literally just lettuce leaves which looks pretty good so you can use that as a base for a salad if you want or you could buy i normally like to buy pre pre-made um, pasta salad but this time i thought i'd go with a green salad and i'm just going to pop some balsamic vinegar on top of that and then my chips ready to go in the air fryer so apart from these ingredients we're also going to need a bit of baking paper which I mentioned earlier, and a frying pan. I'm going to do the fish in the frying pan. Now, I'm having some today, some tomorrow, and then some is going to go in the freezer. So I don't want to overcook what's going in the freezer, but I don't want to put it back in again after taking it out of the freezer. So anyway, let's get going. All right. So first of all, uh, grab a bowl or a jug. I like to use a jug in this case, I think. Um, I'll just use this one. So into the jug, we are going to need the butter, which hasn't really softened, but I think if I sort of use warm hands, it might do it. I'm hoping so anyway. Because the thing is, we've got to put it in the fridge to firm it up anyway. So, yeah. Um... We're also putting in the garlic. Sorry, I'll just grab a spoon because I'm going to need that. All right, so we've got garlic, we've got that. We're adding our shallots, which as I said, that's not two tablespoons, but it doesn't really matter. Our three drops of tabasco sauce now when you if you've never used tabasco sauce before it literally comes out like that is three drops well actually that was four drops just then we're also going to add our lemon juice and our zest from our lemon okay now get clean hands my hands are clean, but I'm just going to make them that tiny bit cleaner. And it probably won't hurt if they are a little bit on the damp side. 
They want them too damp though. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. And that. All right. So probably best thing to do is to get your baking paper ready. Now, the chips normally take 20 minutes in the air fryer, so I'll get those on shortly, but I just want to get the main part of it ready, which is the lemon butter, lemon garlic butter, sorry. All right. If you could sort of smush it all in together like that, You'll do it easy. A bowl would be easier unless you got a little hand. All right, I'm just going to push everything on top of this. Now, the good thing about not over melting the butter is exactly what I said. When we go to put it in the fridge, it won't take as long to, to set. Because you basically got to leave it in the fridge until it's firm. Well, the good thing is, this is already pretty firm. So, it's not a very good shaped log. But we're not going in any competitions for log making, so we're all good. All right, so wrap that up nice and tight. Get the lemon juice into it. Pop that on a plate and into the fridge until we're ready for it. I'm going to get the chips on in the air fryer and then I'll be back to do the fish. Okay, so that's my fish, which is still a little bit frozen, but it'll be fine. I'm going to do this in the frying pan. So let's get going over to the frying pan. Now normally when I order fish, I don't worry about weighing it. I just know that my butcher knows what to get. So this is four fish fillets. I asked for 150 to 250 grams to 150 to 200 grams each. So there's four in there. So just cook them till they're done. Fish doesn't want too long. So while that's going on, the chips are in the air fryer and I'm just going to get the salad ready now as they're cooking away. Now, if you want to put salt and pepper on it, you can. Um, I do have a herb. I'm not sure. Yes, I do. It's called lemon pepper. This is absolutely beautiful on fish. Now, I know it's probably going to take a little bit of flavour away, but not really because it's got lemon and pepper in it, which is perfect. So once I flip it over, I'll put that on it. Okay, so I've just flipped them over. I'm keeping it as hot as I can have it. I think I've lost my, as I say, when I cook it at work because I have to cook grilled fish sometimes and it's a lot easier to cook on a big grill plate. Sometimes when I flip it and it um, breaks, I always say I've lost my grilled fish mojo. It's not a good thing to lose, but anyway, it's not too bad. I don't want to overcook some of them because they are going in the freezer. And obviously when they go in the freezer, they will get warmed up at a later date. So I don't want them overcooked. Or, tomorrow, or the piece that I'm taking for lunch tomorrow either. Okay, I'm going to call it at that because I do not, like my fish really overdone i don't like it raw but i don't like it overdone as well so i'm going to call it at that so let's get ready to dish up okay i've just whacked a bit of lemon pepper on them so these two are for the freezer this is for tomorrow's lunch with this and i've just got to grab the butter out i lost my grilled fish mojo because it broke To be fair, it's not a grilled fish cooking day today anyway. May have been more successful if I had have been cooking it all day and come home to do it. So your butter should be solid, which was why I said not to over um, 
over melt the butter anyway. So cut it into four and quite simply pop a piece on top of your fish. Just waiting for my chips. And there we have it. Fish with lemon garlic butter. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. I hope you feel a bit healthier after looking at this one. And um, don't forget to hit subscribe, then you'll never miss a moment. I will catch you on our next adventure soon. Bye.